MEC cumulative year over year. So if you have a MEC of 60,000, but you only deposit 40,000 into your policy in year one, then the remaining 20K in MEC rolls over to year two. That is a correct answer, uh, allowing you to dump up to 60K into the policy in year two. But if you 10X your income, you'll likely need to obtain a second policy because you'll eventually bust the MEC. That is also true. Now, um, Aaron, it's not a guarantee, right? So let's say your funding amount, your agent designed it for 40K, but they gave you a $60,000 MEC. Most insurance companies will allow you to pay in 10X the base premium, okay? So if your base premium, Aaron, is only 4,000, it's not guaranteed that you'll be able to put in that additional 20. It's not guaranteed. You may, I'm not saying you're, you're not, but what I am saying is I don't think it is a guarantee, so I wouldn't ride on that. Now, if your premium, Aaron, was 6,000, but you're putting in 40,000, then yes, if you have a MEC limit of 60, then yeah, the first seven years, you'd be able to get in $60,000. After seven years, because your MEC limit goes down every seven years, you may not be able to put in 60,000 after the seventh year in most cases. That number will drop back down to maybe the 40K number. Remember, your MEC limit in comparison to what you're funding, there needs to be space. So in my policy, 70 grand, my MEC limit was 81,000. I got 11,000 in space. Can I add in another 11,000? Possibly, not guaranteed. May require medical and underwriting, we don't know. Okay, especially after the seventh year, there might be some uh, uh, issues there. Okay, so we don't want to abuse our MEC. You, you, you wanna definitely maximize it, you don't wanna abuse it. I like to overinflate my MEC. I like to have, without a shadow of a doubt, that I am not gonna bust my MEC. I'm not gonna have an issue. I don't want that issue. I want to be able to, you know, have a good night's rest. Alternatively, you can overinflate your MEC when you start the policy, but anticipating the amount you expect to earn eventually once you 10X. Just remember that in order to make the policy perform efficiently, you should stay at uh, as close to the MEC as possible. Okay. Now, here's another, um, Good thing to know about insurance is that you will only get approved based on your age, health, and finances. So, if you're like Denzel, I wanna put in 40,000 a year, but you only make 70,000 a year, I promise you, you're probably not gonna get approved for 40K, right? Because the insurance companies be like, how the hell can Mr. Joe pay 40,000 a year if they only make 70K gross? That means they're netting less than 70K. If they make 70K gross, and they're trying to put 40K into a pot. What? That don't make no sense. So a good uh, ratio is take your gross annual income, your annual gross household income, times it by 25%, and that's about how much you can fund a policy uh, max per year for as, as many years as you want, uh, essentially. So that's like a good uh, measuring stick. Can you go a little bit above 25%? Yes, yes, I did when I uh, got my second policy. I went a little bit higher. 